broken, abandoned. Far from empty. Attack system coming online. I'm activating the IMS. Early on, we knew we wanted to have more like three-dimensional gameplay. We wanted to have aliens jumping above you, climbing on walls, you know, doing interesting traversals, um, and just attacking from different directions. So that was a pretty major overhaul for the like the Call of Duty engine. Um, took us a lot of work. Took about four to six months to get all the pieces in place, and um, so that our scripters could move on to the to the game design. What we really wanted to focus on was having like a, a focus point of like base defense mixed with like survival um, wave kind of defense, uh, as well as scavenging and class leveling. And I think we've succeeded and got all of that bundled into the thing. We spent most of our time in development with Extinction developing just gameplay, just like put something on the screen and have it j jumping around. It doesn't even need to be an alien or anything. It can be a box, you know, or a sphere. And as long as it's just moving around in a weird way that you have to interact with it uh, in, a, in a way that you're not used to in Call of Duty, that was the key. That was the, the sort of the main um, gameplay hurdle that we uh, had to, a to address first before we even got into designing what an alien would look like or designing what the world would look like or coming up with the various classes and unlocks. Way before that, we just simply took a map, put something in it that jumped around and moved around that, in a way that you weren't used to it. I think uh, for our guys, this is a big one. This game in general is a big one. There's so much change in this game. And the Extinction uh, whole mode was a great release outlet for a lot of people who wanted to do something really new and different. I know the artists had a great time designing all the aliens and stuff like that. We have concept art like crazy of different, you know, looks and and uh, and really happy of how uh, actually from some of our concept art how the aliens came out to look just like the concept art, and just as everybody imagined. That's always a fun a fun experience to see that art turn into a, a creature, you know, an alien in game. So. Uh, it's been a really fun experience for the devs, and we hope that translates into fun for the player as well. You know, you have lots of toys to play with. There's, there's six items in your loadout that you choose from. You have, you have your class, your pistol, your um, support, your ammo, your strike package, and your equalizer. And four of those are on the directional pad that you can purchase in-game. We allow you to unlock pieces of those. So like the medic class might unlock at, class five, or at level five, for instance. Um, you might get the Trinity Rocket at you know, level 21. So as you play the game, you earn experience points, just like in multiplayer, but it's, this is unique to Extinction. You'll unlock these new toys and new abilities and classes to play with um, as you grind through the game. Okay? When you're in the game, you have those six loadout abilities. You earn skill points. So every hive that you destroy, every challenge, we have challenges per hive, every challenge you beat, you earn a skill point. And you can spend those skill points on those six loadout lines. So if my team is in need of armor, I will start buffing out the armor for the team. And when I earn skill points, I'll put them on the armor line. Somebody else would put them on the ammo line. Somebody else would put them maybe on the sentry gun and buff that out. And these things can be buffed like incredibly. Like we have the MK32 launcher. You can buff that up to shooting fire grenades or the death machine where you can shoot you know, incendiary ammo. Um, so you know, the vulture that fires like flaming rockets. I mean, we take them to, to the, like, way over the top, but it makes it a really like kind of controlled chaos. Um, uh, type of game. You know, we wanted to push co-op features, and with that came classes. And rather than have a really confined class system, you know, we have classes as sort of like akin to like the perks with some extra benefits in multiplayer. Um, and then we have uh, two, the uh, ammo and the support class, which are actually deployable. So they played off of like the, the, the ballistic vest in Modern Warfare 3 where you could throw something down and your entire team can grab onto it. We thought that was a really cool mechanic. So we just blew that out and we have, you know, lots of, we have five different ammo types you can throw down and your teammates can come in and grab that ammo. We have support items like armor um, and feral vision and boosters and stuff as well. And just having everyone like, you know, communicating and talking like, hey, I need ammo, I need, you know, got shock ammo, throw it down and then seeing them come in and grab it. Um, that's just a, a good, like once we did that, we did that, it was the first thing we did. We just threw down health packs, I think, and threw down ammo. 
and uh, we saw the promise in it, so we kind of blew the system out from there. So in Extinction, we have um, scavenging, and you can, you know, you're, you're basically, you're, we want players to explore. We want players to go into the darkest, deepest corners of the map and look for objects that might help them. So you can find trophy systems that'll help you against the projectiles of the scorpions. You can find a hypno knife that if you hit an alien with it, it'll turn it into a friend, an ally, and he'll go off and start attacking other aliens. We have flares you can throw and distract them, and propane tanks you can pick up and throw and shoot and set traps. We have electric fences. We have gas traps, um, fire traps. You can set you know, firewalls up, um, very action-packed. You can also find attachments. You can put up to four attachments on your assault rifle. Um, so it's really cool just to go out and find, you might find some cash, you might find that you know, elusive hypno knife uh, to have your little buddy with you. So it's, it's, it's a very cool addition to the game mode. In this particular mode, especially this, there's so much strategy. There's so much um, thinking about what you're going to do, even ahead of time before you even get into the match, of setting up your classes and picking your equipment and making sure that you, in a team of four, that you're all covered on everything that you'll all need. You know, someone's got the armor. Maybe two people have the armor, just in case. You know, it's like um, who's what class, and that whole sort of magic make makeup of of what you take in with you from the, uh, even when you're in the lobby, becomes a big part of the strategy. And then once you get in, it's like, which weapons do you use? Which weapons do you pick off? How often do you do uh, the traps? How well do you use the traps? Um, do, you know, do you, uh, where you put placements? How, who's, who's on what sort of, sort of detail in a sense? It's like, who stays back and guards the hive up close? Who stays far away and kind of hits from a distance? And, uh, or is it just mass chaos and everybody running around? I think the big thing, honestly, that uh, has been overall on the project, not just for Extinction, but overall, uh, has been leaving the Modern Warfare universe. You know, for us, we tied everything into the Modern Warfare universe. It was it was that universe, and we didn't we tried as hard as we could not to ever stray from that, from the lore behind it, from the characters, from everything about it. So, uh, I think once we for, sort of broke away from that and created this obviously very new franchise within Call of Duty, that we didn't feel as um, tied down to the lore. And we felt like this is our opportunity to really do something new and do something fun for, the, not only for the players, but for the devs to work on as well. 